All right, how's it going guys? Here we have uh, these windshield wipers we're gonna install onto a Toyota Camry 2012. These are the, the Aero wipers, uh, soft wiper blades. Uh, that's the serial number there, 665X55X40 millimeters. Um, it does tell you to please remove the yellow plastic protector before use. There's a little picture there of what it is. It even gives you like these instructions on how to install it. So now let's just go ahead and see how long it takes me to do this one-handed. So, dang, I wish I had it. So let's take these puppies out. Okay, I might be able to do this one-handed. So if you look at the vehicle, you got the 18-inch one. If you're standing in front of the vehicle looking at it, the 18-inch one will be the one on the left. So that's going to go there. And it looks like it's about, oh, here we go. Uh, there we go. Looks like it's about the same size, so, okay. Now let's go check out the other one. There, and it looks like it's about the same length as well. Okay, let's go ahead and try to remove this guy. And it says, according to this instructions, it's you just push up right there on the J-hook and it just pops out. So, I do have a hook right here. Oh, it's in there pretty good. I might need a special tool. But... Yeah, doing this with my fingernail doesn't feel so good. I'm going to go get a screwdriver for that. One sec. Okay, so here I was able to get it off, but it just pops up like that. See, that mine was on there pretty tight, so what I did was I got a screwdriver. Right here, I'll just put it back. You just push it in like that. But it's in here really tight, so... Uh, yeah, my nail wouldn't do it. So I just put a screwdriver in here and just lift it up. And I did it right there. So that'll open it. And then we can continue with the rest of it. And then you can see it just it hooks onto right here and that just just push down and it just pops right out. And did you guys see that? Uh, it's awfully bright. It's kind of hard to see. But you just push down and it just comes right out. Here's the hooking mechanism on this guy. Okay, so maybe we can see a little bit better now. That locks in place just like that and then you squeeze here. And on the opposite side, you squeeze both at the same time. And it just pops open. Squeeze in and it pops. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and slide that part. Slide that part into it. I'm trying to do it while filming, which is a little more complicated. Ah, come on. I'm trying to watch through the camera. Make sure it's not blurry. I hope this isn't blurry. Yeah, I'll get in there. Yeah, by the way, this would be like 10 times easier if I was, if I could actually use my other hand. I'm getting too close, damn. Okay, sorry guys, I couldn't do this one-handed. So in here, I went ahead and aligned this this hook onto the, onto the track and then you just slide up. But you're gonna probably need two hands. I needed two hands to do it. And I might need two hands to push this up too. So, whoops. And I'm gonna need two hands to push this up, so I can't record that part. But really, all you do at this point is just slide it up, and that should be it, and lock it in place. So, one sec while I do that, because I need my other hand. Okay, so I just finished installing this thing. I gotta tell you, it was a pain in the ass. Uh, I don't know if it was just the one I bought, or if it's just. The... You know, here I'm removing the yellow part right now before I'm putting it down. We'll see how it works. Maybe if it works better than the way it was to to put it on there, but it was a pain in the ass to put on. So anyhow, I'm dropping it down there. That's how it looks on there. I gotta say, I think I like the way this other one looks, the old one, the OEM part, because it has this protective shield on there. So I don't know. Anyhow, there's these. This is the OEM part. This one's nice because I like to do this. Hopefully in a screwdriver here. Lift up. And it's off. And then just push back. This is much more difficult with one hand. Oops. Gosh. Oh, there we go. So that's off. Here we got this guy, same deal. Hopefully it won't be annoying. Squeeze it, opens. 
and you got a channel in there where that's gonna have to go. Can you see a little bit better there? I don't know if you can even see it. This light sucks. Oh well. Okay, so here we have the J hook, and it's gonna slide straight into there. And there's a little channel back there it's gotta go into. And you're just gonna have to maneuver this until it gets in. Yeah, I was kind of frustrated when I was trying to do it one-handed, and now I'm trying to do it with two hands, but i got to tell you, this is just, it's just so difficult to get it in place. It's like, are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. Okay, there we go. Now we just remove, okay, back out. Now we're just going to remove this yellow strip. That's right, out, set it back down. Okay, so I purposely didn't uh, clean the windshield. I don't know if you can even see it. There we go. Mm. Yeah, they actually look like they work quite well, actually. Yeah, I like that. So, they... I don't know if you can even tell, but let me go to the outside so you can see it from the outside. But if you look on the glass, the glass is totally smooth. Those things totally wiped it clean, which is super nice. So, overall, I'd say that they're a pain in the ass to install, but they work great. They do a really nice job of like cleaning off the glass and wiping everything off. So, that, I, I give them an A. Installation part, ugh, frustrating. You need two hands and be patient. Uh... I think I got them for about 20 bucks, so yeah, overall I'd say they work really nicely. Installing them, pain in the ass. Uh, okay.